How do you mix the perfect black and gray wash for tattooing? You know, if you've been doing black and gray tattoos and you're struggling a little bit, the skin's a little red, I'm gonna show you a technique that I personally use every single day when I do black and gray tattoos that works absolutely phenomenal. Now, my name's Ryan Metric, also known as rm.inc on Instagram. Check me out, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell too. And I'm gonna give you a little background. I've been tattooing for 13 years. I do black and gray tattoos almost every single day. And I'm gonna show you my personal technique that I use to create silky smooth blends when doing black and gray tattoos. So the first thing I do is I start off with 10 ink caps. These are the large ink caps. These are size 17 millimeter. These are the ones that work for me best. I've used all different sizes and I like the size 17 millimeter. I have it worked out with my ink to water ratio. Um, you can use any white or black ink that you choose. Today I'm using solid black lining ink and dynamic white. Every single black and gray tattoo that I do, I start with this exact setup every time. So the first cap is black. The second cap is black. I put this cap for dark gray, medium gray, light gray, extra light, and super light. I have one cap for white and I take these two caps. I'll show you what these caps are for later. Okay, let's start with the pure lining black. It's really important to shake your inks. Make sure you shake your inks. I think that's a little bit underrated. So the first two caps, I do solid black. And I do that because the first cap here, I end up mixing with my gray washes and the second cap, I don't mix it and I keep it true pure black. It's okay if you spill like I did, just dab it up. There's no problem. You can't have fun without making a little bit of a mess, right? So the first dark gray wash cap, I kind of eyeball it and I go all the way till it's about 70 to 80% full. The next cap, I do about half full, eyeball once again. Now when we get into this stage, I actually count the drops. So the first cap here, I do six drops. The next cap, I do half of that, which is three drops. And the lightest cap, I do one drop. So right here you could stop and just fill the rest up with water or witch hazel or any shading solution of your liking. I personally just use dial soap and water. I use what I have mixed in my uh, mix bottle. I'm gonna show you what I do to just take this up the next step. This is what I do. This is what works for me best. This isn't a true black and gray wash. It would technically be considered a color wash, but this works the best for me for how I get my smooth tones. Now, once again, I kind of just eyeball this. You can use up to eight drops, but I just put a little bit of white in each cap, just like this. And as I I get darker I get a little bit more so what do we have we have two caps of black we have dark medium and light and then here we have extra light and then super light and then what I do is I just take soap and water and I kind of swirl them around and I fill each one of them up like this Sometimes you can be a little more thorough and go back with a needle and mix up each individual cap. But honestly, when you run your machine inside the caps, it mixes the white and black anyways. My cap up here is solid white for any highlights at the end of the tattoo. And these two caps here, can anybody guess what I'm gonna put in these two caps? These last two caps, I fill them up with water. Now you could use these caps to mix the lightest tone a little bit lighter, but this one's pretty light. And honestly, I don't mix this lighter than what this is. So what I use these caps for is I put my cartridge needles in there so they don't dry out. So when I finish using a needle, I put it in this cap and just let it sit. This is my go-to setup. Every single day I do a black and gray tattoo, this is what I do. This is how I achieve my smooth blends. This is how I achieve my tones. I love this setup and I use it every single day. And of course you can adjust it. You can add more dark caps. You can have lighter caps feel free to experiment. You can mix color in. I know artists that mix drops of purple and blue in their ink caps. You know, there's no set rules with this. So experiment as much as you can. Now I wanna hear the comments from all of you below. Put some comments down, tell me what you think, tell me ideas for future videos. I wanna help everybody tattoo as much as they possibly can. It's a passion of mine. I love art as I'm sure all of you do who are watching this video. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it.